Hello everyone. Happy Tarot Tuesday to you all. I did take some time off and I enjoyed the weekend. We um, were able to get together with some family and I visited my grandmother-in-law that is going to turn 102 next month. So that's wonderful, wonderful. So I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and we all took a moment to remember why we do have this holiday and we remember those who sacrificed for our freedom here in the United States. And I personally want to thank all of the service members for all of the sacrifices that they make. I was an Army wife for several years and I have a son in the Air Force. so. I do understand the sacrifices that the families do make as well as the service member. So thank you all for serving and thank you all for your sacrifices. Please do know that you are not making them in vain. There are many people that are appreciative and there's many people who send you love and send you healing and protective energy. So I'm going to go on with this and as you see I'm going to be talk I'm going to be doing a reading with the Osho Zen Tarot and I'm going to be talking about it. The reason I brought this up, I've had this deck for I don't know, 15, 17 years, something like that. And um on the other face Facebook pages and even on Instagram, people have been talking about this deck and they've been asking about it. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a reading and talk about this deck. Now I'll open this up. As you can see, it has a place for your cards here. And hang on a second, let me grab that book. Um, it has a book that comes with it. That's the back of it. They're really pretty decks. If you don't know who Osho is, he, uh, he teaches Tantra and different healing modalities. So you need to go check him out. And there's some readings in here as well. Some um, suggested readings with a deck and explains the deck that like you know the pictures and and what it means and um it's really good explanations in there it's nice reading um again it's it's very healing so and as you can see pick one here um there's one of them they call it a tarot deck and i guess it can be considered that i see it's more of a um, an oracle deck because it has a meaning on it, but you know, that's, that's me. And, but the kind of deck it is, whoop, I just dropped it. Um, if you'll see, they have different colors here and different symbols here, and those represent different elements. So, um, I guess you could call it a tarot deck. I don't know. Like I said, I see it more of a cardamancy deck, but that's me. So let's do a reading really quick. And, um, i will shuffle these up really good. I've been shuffling them a little bit when I got them out, but let's do it again. And let's just see here what we get. I am the one of those who do not read cards in reverse, and it's wonderful because I heard Lori Cabot state that she does not as well. I mean, the cards have their own meanings anyway. I just think that's, you know, reading in um, um, reverse is just... I don't know, um, too much, you know, you don't have to, the cards have their own meanings, the cards, the cards can go deep enough, but anyway, that's just me, everyone has their different way, whatever you choose to do, read them all upright, or read them reversed, whatever, it's you, so I'm sorry, it's just really awkward for me to uh, shuffle these right here, so let's go ahead and pick a card, okay, let's just do here, usually I don't do it like this, I kind of um, span them out, and I just like to, you know, span them out like that, and just kind of feel which ones I want to, uh, which one's grabbing me, and usually I can feel them pretty easily, very quickly, okay, here we go, ah, the fool, now, there is one exactly, exactly like the tarot. And the full card is exactly that. It's about, you know, taking that chance, trusting. Let me set that down there. Let me zoom in a little bit for that. 
trusting, taking a chance and trusting. Um, this is about new beginnings as well. White roses are all about new beginnings. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit so you can see the beauty in this card. This is a very spiritual card. Some people think that the Fool card is a negative card and it can be one that... Um, that tells you to be careful what you do. But, you know, I feel that many times we need to take that chance in order to get us out of those ruts, to push us forward and to make those changes that we need to, um, to make in order to expand in our life, to make our life better, um, to enhance it, to enrich it. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to grow right? We're not here to just stay the same day after day. We're here to grow. We're here to experience. We are here to have that human experience. And, you know, the fool also reminds us that, you know, every step forward that we make, we are leaving the past behind us. And he's listening to his intuition. He is in harmony with all things that are around him. He's trusting in himself. And when we leave the past behind, it opens us up to a future and the future adventures that await us. And, you know, sometimes we make decisions that feel right for us and that um, we feel that are good for us and we're listening to that intuition and other people may not feel the same. I always tell people that when you're doing something for yourself, when you're trying to um, go in a certain direction and you're putting energy toward that, be careful about who you tell because not everybody is going to see things the way that you see them. And they could add that, um, you know, that energy to it that will cause doubt or try to cause you to doubt yourself. And, you know, the zero is a numberless number. It is representing the whole, the all. And it's, this is an innocence. And it's about wanting you to release that past and to step forward into the future to trust your intuition, to, to believe in yourself. This is like a pure trust. This is a pure trust in yourself. Know that you can decide what is best for you. You don't need anybody else's approval but your own. And he is telling you to trust you to trust yourself, trust against everything, trust against everything. Don't allow other things to cause you doubt. Don't allow other things to um, make you doubt yourself or even where you're going to second guess yourself. If you have an opportunity that comes available to you and you feel good about it, it's scary, but sometimes taking that step is one of the best things that you can do. And many people, you know, they feel the un they fear the unknown. What is behind what is just around that corner? What is waiting for them? But trusting in you listening to your intuition, take that time to silence everything and tap into yourself and listen to you and walk the path that your soul is wanting you to walk. Now, I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care and be safe and trust in yourself. Tap into you, listen to your intuition. And if a great opportunity presents itself, Read all the fine print. Read everything else. And if it's still working for you, go for it. Take that chance on yourself. Blessed day, everyone.